say, well, this is, in, 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 this is what Moses did. So obviously, Master Jesus cannot say anything against it. But Jesus said it wasn't so. He said, why? Because why are you doing all this to all these all this years? Because of the stubbornness of your wicked hearts. And they were furious. They were furious. That's, that's how the same way Christians, Protestants are furious. They just want to devote. They just don't care. They just don't care for the testimony. They want to divorce. They want to this. Jesus said, whatever God put together, let not men, not men, not one man, or not many men, put asunder. That is divide, that is split, that is break, that is whatever. You know what I mean? That's what Jesus said. New Testament, because if, if it was Old Testament, Moses would say, well, just go ahead, stubborn idiot. But in the New Testament, Jesus, Jesus was more strict. And he said, the first thing, in the beginning it wasn't so. Because the, I, I, the, the very idea of uh, marriage is you come to God, okay, Lord, I need to find wife, I want to be with wife, I want to have wife that is according to your heart, and please, do miracle, and and I want to see it works out. But that's not how Christians do it in these days. They are going to people, asking thousands of people, asking especially those who are, whatever, you do this, it's fine, you do this, no matter, as long as you coming to church, paying tithes, it's fine. And this is where the problem really started. That's why we have this mess. People no longer listen to Jesus because they separate Jesus from his teaching. And this is the grave, demonic, deadly error that is in most churches and many preachers that are on Omega Man Radio used to preach like this. And they keep, keep on preaching this. They justify divorce. They justify divorce. You see, when you look back, many, not so many years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, there were many testimonies. That's what I, used, I was talking recently. Um, there were many testimonies. There were multitudes of testimonies. How God, through prayer and fasting, and holding in faith and taking authority, authority over the devil who is trying to who's, who's uh, against mar marriage who's against a real marriage I'm not talking about divorce and remarriage like, who's against true marriage the devil he don't want to he don't want to see it work out he want to see it you know out of proportion broken split and whatever but you see We need to understand that there were there were many testimonies. If something was happening, people because people no longer live with God, with, with Jesus, people live as the world world dictates to them. People no longer have this kind of testimonies. Why? Because they no longer preaching God is mending divorces that the God is not many divorces but God is mending uh, broken marriages they now preaching divorces let's make some money on this divorce let's don't uh, attack them let's help them to further enable them to pr pray more pray more tithes and that's the mess that's the demonic workings in the churches these days. Many years ago, not so long ago, there were many testimonies. People wouldn't even think, okay, my, my, something happened in my marriage. 
there is something wrong going on, so on and so forth. Now, I must tell you, many marriages, if not most, are being destroyed because what? Because we are living in the time of what? Love. Freedoms. That's what I can do to faith. One world of faith preacher recently said in his sermon that he was shocked. It is from his mouth. He was shocked that when he visit, visits some churches every now and again, he met people doing so crazy things, believing in so crazy things, he couldn't understand it. And he start, started to preaching the basics, because people no longer get it. Alright, so he was talking about, there was some kind of so-called couple coming to him, and he said, oh brother, this and that, give us your blessing. They were going to get married. Alright. Uh, and he was just asking, just, just, just like this, just asking, but why do you need my blessings? What, what's going on? What you need to, and they, he wants some more details. What, what's going on? And, uh, she, and she said, well, they were praying with this guy who is not, uh, of course, her, uh, husband. And um, this guy said, uh, and her, with her, that, oh, God told us to, they, sh they should run away, and she should run away from, from you know, from her, her, her husband, and they should, they should get married. Oh, prophet, Professor Kim, you know the lady from God TV? G-O-D dot TV T-V TV sorry huh? her husband was doing some I don't know business trips or whatever and he met this girl or lady and you know, and they received prophecy, or she was prophesying God, that's God's will, that he should, he should just go away from, from, from the wife. That's how they, prophesying in fake, false spirits, and they, this is the, I believe the situation, that we, 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 that I used to, that we used to have a look in the beginning of sermon. About, about false spirits, spirits of falsehood in the mouths of prophets. There was another story. I used to read some book and there are many testimonies. There are much, many more testimonies. I could talk much about this, but there's one more testimony. Because I don't, I don't have time. I want to point out some other things also. Uh, so in, in one of the book, there is a t and also this lady was talking, I think, in one of her sermon. There was this char charismatic church, and here it is, great prophet, you know, strutting, you know, to and fro, and here, here, prophesying over everybody, you know, goody to shoes, uh, vending machine prophet. And there was, Beautiful lady sitting there, and next to her, and her husband was uh, like you know regular guy in his jeans or whatever jeans and you know some t-shirt or whatever. And there was, and the, on the other side of the lady there was this guy, you know he was I don't know he was in he wearing some, some expensive clothes, you know, he was looking very, uh, not, not, you know, he had very nice clothes, and uh, looking like, you know, a uh, guy with money, or so on, so forth, so, this first prophet, that was prophesying, this lady, and this, this is how the, and this is the word of God, that says the Lord, that this lady should marry this guy, this 
nice guy with an old nice suit, nice clothes. And next to her was sitting her two husband. And this is the mess, and God is really angry. This is the mess is happening all over the places. And when we talk about Omega Man, when you have a look at these points, uh, I listen. I, I used to listen. I I I, no, I will no longer listen to this. But I used to listen to some of the episodes, some of the shows, to many of them, and you can see something common to some of these men. I'm not talking. I'm not telling every one of these guy is a false prophet. But he surrounds himself with the people who are either divorced him themselves or who are for divorce. And this is the mess you can learn when you when you listen to Megaman Radio without previous prayer of protection, without previous reading the Bible, without previous saying to God, oh Lord, just show me if there's anything wrong what they preach. Just show it to me. And you'll be amazed. I can point out many of them. Listen to them. I, I'm not talking about something I think about. This is not like Omega Man used to say, my talk, my, my take. This is how I uh, perceive it. No, I'm not talking about this. This is what they say. What I've heard from their very mouths. Alright, so many of them preaching once they were saved. Oh, they are men of God. They are men of God, but once they were saved, man. If once they were saved, no matter what, maybe you don't know what, what uh, once they always say is. Once they always say is, it means just you come to Jesus, get the ticket stamped. By Jesus, and now you can whatever life you 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 lead. Even you, some some of them say, well, even you stray from God, you finally land in heaven anyway. So what's the, what's the matter when we divorces? You're going to heaven anyway. It doesn't matter. And that kind of theology produced over uh, last thirty, twenty, whatever years, the mess we land. That for one. Another point that I want to talk about is that um, many of these people cast out demons, healing the sick, but when it comes to theology, you find them not only lacking, but also preaching heresies. Many of them also are divorced and they not only not, not make bones about it, they just brag about it. They just brag. I guess they you know. They say the testimony. They used to, oh, they get, get married and they bro broke up and, and, and then the next and then make no bone about it. God is blessing. Everything is fine. And, oh, of course, if you want to divorce, that, no, no, don't listen to these religious people, man. Because religious people will say, well, so-called religious people will say, well, something is wrong. But people cannot stand that kind of talk. Something is wrong. Oh, it must not be of God. Because in God, I can do everything. This is how crooked and, and, uh, and demonic philosophies entered so many churches, entered the kind of ministries like he has. So when you listen, okay, you say, uh, Omega Man... Uh, this radio, Mega Man Radio, teaching me how to cast out demons, providing with some some kind of uh, knowledge and that I could use against Satan, so on and so forth. Okay, that's for once. Okay, that's for once.